I think we shouldn't discuss the first meeting between Joe Frazier and George Foreman on the title of the heavyweight champion of the world where Frazier got defeated without discussing the match between Clay and Foreman where Clay whom Frazier defeated before was able to defeat George Foreman in spite of the difference in strength where Foreman I see and all can notice his strong muscles he is much stronger than Clay and what is the tactics Clay followed to be able to defeat George Foreman the fact is that Clay's style or tactic rather is such that he consumes the energy and, and effort of his opponent in trying to reach his body he spares his own efforts in the beginning of the match and defenses his body very well and makes his opponent make great effort in reaching his body and much more to reach his head such that his opponent at the end gets tired uh, so look here Foreman actually is about very tired in, and about to fall on his own without the two or three punches that were considered knocked out by Clay actually he knocked actually Foreman knocked out himself because he got very tired he was about to fall without these three four punches of Clay as you will soon see yes that's it Foreman yes. fell that's, it. that's the end the other hand uh, Frazier's first Joe meeting Joe with Foreman he made some mistakes as you see his face looked not Here fresh as he used uh, in, in addition yes, he is swift he treated he was perhaps a bit spoiled because he was the heavyweight uh, title of uh, the heavyweight champion of the world at that time and Foreman was aware of that and prepared very well and 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 looked determined to, to win and finish the match as early as possible such that he but defeated Frazier from the first uh, from the second round Joe Frazier should techniques should have been as follows he should have concentrated on the strength of the punch not the uh, speed of the punch in addition who sh he should have avoided Foreman's punches even if he escapes sideways it's not cowardice but Foreman is really a dangerous fighter he had huge muscles and his punches were very strong he should escape the, the, these punches Clay was successful in avoiding these punches by defending his body which is his usual technique it's a real sorrow because actually Frazier tactics were to land speedy left hooks this did not work because with Foreman because Foreman's punches were very strong and his left hooks did not affect him